And this week marks National Nurses Week, the recognition being extended for the entire month to honor nurses across the country who are caring for the sick and dying during this crisis. News 12's Carmen Grant is highlighting visiting nurse service of New York and its nurses on the front line. During this crisis, visiting Nurse Service of New York, nurses continue caring for the sick, including those recovering from COVID-19. Gregory Fargus is one of those healthcare heroes providing in-home visits. We make sure that, you know, that them coming home from the hospital, that they're safe. Um, that they have uh, everything that they need. Despite years of experience, the virus is new territory for these medical professionals on the front line. It really changed uh, um, uh, the way that we work. They now screen patients for symptoms of coronavirus and suit up before seeing a patient recovering from the virus. You know, I constantly monitor and, 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 and uh, uh, make myself aware that, that the gown is covering my wrist um, uh, to the glove and things like that. Uh, be, because the, the worst thing I want to do is, is, is take home the virus to my family. But for other nurses like Diane Lynch, working as a BNSNY hospice nurse at NYU Brooklyn Hospital, the outcome of this virus is darker. You have people who may actually walk in to an emergency room and be alert and oriented and ambulatory, and in a few hours, they're being asked. Want to be or not. Most of her COVID patients are struggling with acute pain, and she's often tasked with those final moments connecting isolated patients with their families. Those beautiful moments, is, um, as sad as they are, as heartbreaking as they are, um, it's a privilege. A reminder of why these nurses deserve some recognition during this time. Carmen Grant, News 12. So deserving of all of the recognition they get. Carmen, thank you. Hospitals.